Hi everybody, welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to show you a little trick that you can use to send MIDI regions and therefore MIDI track information to other tracks and therefore um, you can end up using only one instrument to generate sounds and therefore saving CPU usage. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Okay, so we are inside the Logic Pro for iPad on an iPad Pro M1. Let's click on Create Project and let's select Tracks. Let's select MIDI because we are working with MIDI. As you can see, we have a vintage electric piano by default as an instrument selected. So let's hide the keyboard. Now let's bring up the view of the instrument. Let's click and hold on electric piano and let's remove that so that we don't have any sounds that can be played. Here is the trick. Click on the, on the track once and select create some stock. Now go to multi-select here, deselect the first track, rem uh, and disable again the multi-select, click on the second track, create some track again. Okay, and then of course you can just go back to uh, select only one track. Now let's create straight away some MIDI region that we can reuse. So let's click here and let's select uh, create MIDI region. Now we open up the piano roll editor and we go on uh, the pencil and we generate some um, some notes, something uh, um, something simple like um, perhaps um, make it a little bit longer like so and just three simple notes like so. Okay, now let's click to select it, click again, select copy. Go to the sum two track here, click again, paste at original position. We do the same on the last track. So we have a copy of the three. Now let's select the first one again. Let's go in piano roll editor and let's uh, keep only the first note like so, which is a C. Let's click on the second MIDI region. Let's keep only the second note, which is a D. And let's repeat that again on the third one, keeping only that last note E. Okay, so when they play all together, if they play all together, you will hear C, D, E on the third octave repeated. Okay, let's close that. Now let's click on a MIDI region again, go to cycle and selection so that we have that on the looping mode. If you click play, you don't hear anything again because there is no instrument which has been assigned. Now let's go to the mixer view. And this is uh, quite interesting and um, at the same time complicated. If you are on the mix view, click on the plus sign to go to this uh, top view. Now let's move up and you can see some things which has happened here. You have some one which contains some two and then some two which contain instrument one track. And only on that third track you can add an instrument which is correct. Click on instrument now and select something whatever you uh, preferred like a vintage electric piano or something else. Okay, if everything is okay, now you will hear the three notes repeated. So you have the three tracks um, playing at the same time, but you have only one instant of electric piano. If you see what has happened here, on the instrument one, if you look at bus two, this is sending to as an output to sum two, which is this track here, because it's called sum two, which you can see here as an input, which it comes from instrument one, which is this one. The output of this is actually sum one, which is the first track. And indeed, you can see here that the input is sum two, which is the second track, and the output is stereo output. And this is how it works. Now, if you try to add another summing stack here on the third instrument, it doesn't allow you to do that. And uh, that is uh, a, a bit of a limitation, but um, you can create another summing stack of other three 
uh, tracks and repeat that. Of course, you need to maintain two set, of course, between the two different summary stacks. But at least in this way, you have three regions, three MIDI regions, which, of course, you can then import MIDI track, which are playing together at the same time and using only one instrument which is located on this third track. And to prove the point, uh, you could uh, go inside the uh, Yano Electric Piano, replace that, for example, with, uh, um, well, let's try uh, Alchemy, for example, and let's click play. So you have uh, effectively this track here, someone sending this MIDI information, to um to be played by instrument one and the same sum two is sending MIDI information to be played by instrument one and the same this region here already in instrument one is playing that e note and of course you can uh, um play further so let's say that um i want to uh, insert um, a note there let's go to pencil let's here we go. So this is a nice little, little trick that you can use um, using some stack to actually send MIDI events to other tracks in a cascaded way. And of course you can organize yourself in a way that um, uh, it, it works for your music production. I hope you found the tutorial useful and as always, see you next time. Bye.